And now, another Pastor Sam meditation on the cross of clutter. It may look like I'm delivering a sermon, but I'm not standing behind a lectern, but behind a stack of shipping boxes. And the curtain behind me is bubble wrap. We live in a time where we get so many packages that if we're not careful, all this packaging material can become a cross of clutter. Some people are quite good about throwing away these boxes and packaging material. I must confess, I have trouble handling the flow of boxes in my life. You get a package and you think, I should save the box. I might need it. Then another box comes and another and another and another and another and another, and another, and another, and another. I have allowed these boxes and packing material to invade and destroy the cleanliness of my home and burden myself with a cross of clutter. Why did I let them in? At first, I thought I couldn't throw it away because of environmental concerns. But that was a rationalization for a deeper emotional reason. When I grew up, there weren't that many packages. When you got one, it was a great event. And as a result, the box that it came in was prized in its own right. There was no Staples, no Amazon, no Walmart. Unlike today, it was hard to find a box, so you kept them. Many of the packages I received, the box that it came in, had been used a number of times. But times has changed, and as written in 2 Corinthians 5.17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. And now we live in a world of abundant boxes. Do not fear, there will always be another box and more packaging material. A new one will probably come within a week. There is no need to keep these boxes and packaging material and to allow them to take up space in your home and in your life. To keep them is to burden yourself with a cross of clutter.